Hello comrades, this is Comrade Entertainment, and today for the first time we're doing a Twitch live stream on Lord of the Rings Heroes. So as per usual, if you've been seeing the other episodes, let's start with collecting our daily rewards. And it looks like we get a nice 100 shards for a new character, so we'll check that out in a bit. As well as some gold, and some gems. Nice little bonus for us there. Even some dark crystals. Plenty of goodies for us today, hey? Okay, so I think we'll start off with unlocking our new character, apparently. <laughs> so as you can see, we've unlocked Orin, and we can summon her now. Here she is. Orin, the daughter of Elrond and, and even star of her people. Arwen fiercely defends the West against the coming shadow. Her light brings hope to all those in need. And so she's got quite varied stats, mainly focusing on attack and support. And I believe she's a support character. She's also best friends with Elora here. <laughs> Hopefully I pronounced that correct. Well, we still haven't unlocked them, so perhaps we'll see them in the future. And she's also friends with the Alil here, another character we have yet to unlock. Yeah, we'll possibly see those guys in the future. Okay, let's start with uh, checking out the abilities they have. So, Guarded Slash, attack the target enemy for 90% damage and 50% chance to grant one sack or defense. It's the most wounded member. And if you don't know yet, defense will block the next hit when that character is attacked. We also have Deadly Earnest, so attack the target enemy for 130 cent damage, and spell one boon. Not too bad. And eventually, once we upgrade her tier, her gear, we can unlock the Evening Star, which cleanses one bane from the two squad members, with the bonus banes of course, and it will also grant one stack of regeneration for one turn. We can also eventually unlock Light of Rivendell, which when a squad member drops below 50% health, they have 50% chance to grant them one stack of Nimble. And Nimble is where they can evade or dodge next attack. Okay, quite interesting. So let's uh, start off by equipping all the gear we can select. We can also level it up, why not? We can also invest some uh, common ability materials to increase our stats for abilities. We can quickly uh, look for hide as well, keep upgrading. Let's see what else we need to get. Looks like we need to collect some satchels as well. There we go. And looks like we need one more ink. And that should be enough. Double up to gear four. Let's see, is there anything else we can upgrade?
perhaps we can do one more gear and then I think we'll need to unlock a few more quests before we can gather new materials. That will do. And we can even upgrade her new abilities, make her even stronger. Nice. And there's our new character, Arwen. Let's head to the uh, arena and see if we can get a few wins against other players and their teams. So it looks like the lowest level one is going to be this one, with 2100 power. Let's see how we fare against them, mate. So as you uh, may be able to tell, it's uh, currently the last day for the New Year's. So uh, this will be the last episode of 2023 we'll be doing. And of course we'll be starting again in the New Year. I'm hopefully going to be able to edit it and put this on YouTube as well. But if it is perhaps late, I hope you all had a good New Year. But we'll see. Oh dear. Looks like we lost one of our characters already. Okay, last one. And there we go. Good stuff. We even raise up by one bank. Not the most exciting, but every little bit helps. And we'll come back to that later on in the stream. When it cools down, finished. Okay, so let's uh, start off by Collecting the rest of our nice rewards, so we'll get our bonus chest. Not too bad, some materials we can use. Some shards to eventually unlock another character. We can also check out our inbox. We'll get some nice arena rewards as well. Very nice. We'll also check out the supplies. See if we can buy any goodies. Keep uh, buying Helbrid's shards, hopefully unlock him eventually. Same for him here. And there we go, looks like we've unlocked him as well. Definitely doing well so far. And there he is, Immo. Third Marshal of Rowan, an adopted son of the King Theoden. Emor fights for Rowan's people and is a gifted horseman and warrior. He is also a general amongst generals. So he's got quite high stacks for attack, so he's a striker or attacker character. And of course he's also best friends with Lady Owen in Erothane. Which of course we've unlocked already. So we've got a nice little team going on there. We can also uh, level him up to max as well. See if we can get some good gear on them as well, hey? Right? 
Okay, that'll be a good start. Let's see how much gear we can make with those materials. That's a good lot of materials from there. See if we can do well on our dust as well, hey. Seems quite random what kind of wards you get. I tend to find the lower level you are, the more likely you get materials. And it starts getting harder when you get higher levels, but we'll see how it goes, hey. Definitely make the most use of it as we can for now. There you go, another tier up. Gear level 3 I believe, yep. Hopefully we can keep going. And there we go. Get another level up, very nice. It's so level 24, and of course, as usual, get a nice extra campaign and guild points to use. And that also means we can uh, level up our characters again, another level. Oh dear. There we go. That's a good one. Get some satchels from there. And another tier up. Tier 4, I believe. Yep. So that means we unlock all our abilities for this character. Very nice. And we'll probably give them one more gear and leave them as that for now. And there we go. So how about we check up his uh, abilities and see if we can level a few up. So Sword of Rohan, attack the target enemy for 100% damage. Marshal's Command, summon a Rohan attacker and attack the enemy target for 90% damage as well as call a Rohan ally to assist. And we can check out our Rohan attacker. If we press a little eye at the bottom left there. And this is what it will look like, what they'll look like. And they'll, of course, have their own little abilities as well. But unfortunately we can't upgrade those. We'll just have to let them improve themselves. we also got Courageous Charge for a new character here which attacks the target enemy three times for 50% damage per hit. If Enflame is an ally, which he is, this attack deals 60% damage per hit instead. So a nice little bonus we can keep, if we can keep them together. We also got a passive ability here, Brotherly Devotion. On turn, heal self and ally Eren for 4% of his character's max health. Okay, so uh, definitely some interesting ones. I think we'll go for these two first, Courageous Charge to upgrade, and Marshall's Command. We'll pro oh, looks like we've got enough actually, so we'll upgrade Bovary Devotion as well. Why not? And then we need to go out and collect some more materials. I'm sure he'll be quite powerful enough as he is now. Okay, let's uh, keep upgrading the rest of our team.
And last one, I believe. Here we go. Okay, just before we move on, let's see if we can uh, upgrade our gear tiers and a few other characters. Very nice, nice little bonus there. And like the others, we'll do just one more gear. Just give them a little bit of extra bonus. And they will try and get the rest of the new level rare gear later on. So we just need to get a bit of hide first. There we go. Okay, we'll do the same for Frodo as well. Do not getting too many materials right now, but hopefully it'll be enough. That's a bit better. tier 4 for him as well. Whilst we're here we'll just do him like the same for this. And last one. That will do. Give him a bit of bonus damage there. Not too bad. Let's see, who haven't we done yet? I'd say we'll do Lady Orin and Eldred first. And then we'll probably do a few uh, challenges or something. And of course, if you remember from the last episode, we've unlocked a few quests and missions we can get Fred from which were on our characters like Lady Orin here will need. So we got a bit of that already, which is nice. And of course we can always come back to those missions in order to win to get more. Okay, tier three, nice. Might as well get a bit of hide, I think there's quite a few gear that needs it. we we'll also get another level up, nice. Let's see how much we can make there. And tearful once again. Very good. Definitely making our heroes strong and powerful enough now. 
We can even make two gears for our Lady Orin character here. These characters 25 as well. And then finally but not least, let's upgrade our Eldred character as well. Okay, I think we'll just need a bit more threads, but then that should be enough. Oh, plenty of thread there, very nice. And another gear tier 3. So we're going through our campaign points right now, but hopefully it will be worth it for all these level ups and gifts. We are almost out of uh, campaign points to use, so let's see how we do. Ooh, that was lucky. Let's use the last ones to try and get some blessings. Never mind, that's a new mission. So we'll perhaps come back to that later on. Okay. So we'll just level up our characters 25, why not? And then they'll be as strong as they possibly can be. So we've even got a task complete to level up Strider 25, so we get some nice bonuses from that as well. Okay, and that will do. So it looks like we uh, jumped to the arena once again. So let's see. We got quite a strong team, I believe, so we might be able to attempt some stronger players. Let's 
Let's have a look, see what best rank we can face against. Okay, so it looks like we've got a rank 135 with only a power of 1900. Let's see if we can take them all. We can also get rid of uh, throw up Baggins and get him more. And we can also get rid of Strider and get Arwen. A little bit stronger characters. And we'll also get a nice bonus from uh, Rohan squad teammates. Let's see how we do. <laughs> I think we'll go for the uh, Poison Guard Orcs first. Seems like we're copying each other. One more hitch to do him. There we go. And that's another one down. Definitely doing well so far. So I believe that was one of our new abilities as well. So he heals the whole group, which is quite nice. Ooh, last hit. And there we go. So a nice little victory there. And we even rise to the rank 135. Quite a big jump, which is nice for us. Hopefully a few more good wins like that, or we'll unlock the next rank. We'll get even greater rewards. Okay. So it looks like we've got some more mail and letters. Gondor calls for aid. Will you heed the call? Guild mates will help you overcome foes in the guild campaign. At level 30, journey with your guild into the mines of Moria, where you can unlock Gandalf the Grey. Find an existing guild or create your own, and your path to glory awaits you. Join the guild now and bask in the might of the lions. Okay, it's good to know. So we're currently level 25, but five more levels we can unlock the raids down here. Get some nice rewards and quests. Speaking of quests, how about we get that nice task and get some gold? We can also check out our objectives. And another level up. Okay, so it looks like we need to do 10 more guild missions, 2 challenges, and it looks like we need to do the bonus chest again. I'll probably do that off screen as that will be a few hours. How about we attempt challenges next? So it looks like we unlocked the second tier of wondrous abilities, very nice. How about we give that a go, see how well we do. Okay, so here's our first enemies, some pesky goblin boys. Let's see how tough they are. Ah, 
and it looks like uh, goblins will be able to respawn themselves, or at least another goblin, when they die, which I think is a new thing for us. So definitely uh, pesky and annoying, these goblins. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Okay, looks like we've got some uh, orcs and had dream to face some wave two. She resisted the fire burning, but no matter. These guys are definitely getting a bit tougher. And last one. So wave three, we've got Lord Elrond and his uh, elf friends. I think it's going to be a tough one, but let's find out. Nice little sister. Just need to hit him one more time to get rid of his unbreakable, and we should be able to kill him. Luckily we got that nice nimble. Probably saved Strider there. And last one. Kill with the fire there, but you never know. A nice, another three star victory. And we unlock some nice little ability materials there we can use for our characters. And eventually, when we reach level 30, we can unlock tier 3 this challenge. So we'll just auto win these two. And let's see. We can attempt tier 2 of Treasure Trove as well, so let's give that a go. Probably a fairly good squad there. And we're facing the dwarf boys once again. Let's see how much tougher they are this time. Ok, 
get some nice healing up. Nice, last one. And there we go. Moving on to wave two, we've got some goblin boys again. lost a summon character. A little bit disappointing but the good news is even if we do lose a summon character they won't count at the end for deaths so we'll be able to still get a free star victory. As long as no one else dies of course. for the hits. Nice, definitely need that heal. Hopefully we can uh, keep our heroes alive enough till the end. So close. Freestyle victory as well. And there we go. So, once again, once we reach level 30, we can attempt tier 3 of that. So, let's just auto win tier 2 for now. Let's see what other challenges can we do. So, we're pretty low on Shadow and Orc characters, unfortunately. So we'll probably leave those two, at least till the end. Let's attempt Lost Artifacts, eh? Okay, looks like these uh, enemies got an extra bonus as well. Hidden Threat. Damage is increased whilst this character is in stealth. Good to know. Hopefully we can uh, take them out before they come and stop. One more hit, hopefully. and get some gondol heroes. Oh, 
last one. Nice. And onto the final wave. Looks like we've got some rangers of Strider and Hellbird here, as well as the classic Frodo. Looks like Frodo was easy enough. Didn't even have a chance to fight. Last one. Nice and easy. Okay, so we got a three star victory for tier one. Very nice. We even unlocked tier 2. Let's give it a go. I think if we play smart, we might be able to just about kill it. Tougher, but still doing fairly well. I think they're definitely getting lucky with the spells and countering our banes. Let's see how we do in wave 2 this time, eh? Okay, we'll start off with some healing, see if we can take Faramir out first. Ooh, not quick enough. Hopefully we can uh, survive long enough to heal. Ah. Okay, final wave. We are down a teammate in Forty. Let's see if we can survive long enough to at least get two stars out. So it looks like we need to upgrade our characters before we can do this one again. So we'll just stick with auto winning tier 1 for now. Let's see if we can do tier 2 for Fortune of the Deep. Got a nice little team here as well. Some tough dwarf boys here. Ouch. Okay, that was just a summon character. We won't lose any points for that.
Okay. Got the Isengard orcs here. See if we can take out Ugluk first. Nice. At least we didn't get blind from him. Definitely gonna need that healing. Okay, last one. Ouch. No one's gonna die in the morning. One more hit should do it. Okay, way free. Definitely getting a tough one, but let's see how we do. Another character, unfortunately, but at least we take out one of his trolls. See if we can get rid of their healer. Two, definitely getting intense. Can we manage it? Oh dear, it's not looking promising. Ah, so close. Okay, no matter. We'll have to come back to that in the future. So once again, we'll just auto win tier one. And we'll take a bit of a break from challenges. Let's see if we can do another round of arena. After getting another nice level up, thanks. So who's the highest rank we can face? Got rank 11 there, that might be good. Or rank 10. Let's go for this rank 12 one. I think the 10 and 11 ones are a bit too strong for us. But we'll see. another chance. Ah.
Okay, so if Rebels revealed himself, see if we can take him out. Nice. Last two enemies. Last one. Definitely doing well. the way to rank 12, very good. And so we'll be able to uh, hopefully possibly move to the next rank soon. Silver 1. Of course we'll come back to that when we can. Okay, how about we uh, try to upgrade our characters a bit more. Let's see. How about we start with Play Doran? We even got some materials so we can upgrade our abilities. We even got some uh, uncom abilities as well. So we'll get a uh, five critical chance if we upgrade that, but we'll probably do that another time. How about we use this one and grant might to two random allies? Okay, looks like we still need to keep on questing to unlock these, so we might come back to that. got any quests where we can unlock rare materials yet. So I think we've got our heroes as max out as they can for now. Let's just double look, see if we can unlock anyone else perhaps. Maybe we can do something for Eldred here. Doesn't quite look like it. Can we perhaps upgrade one of his abilities? So we can upgrade his be renewed to two and get a bit more healing. Should be good. And of course we can level him up as well. So we're here, might as well get some gear for Hook Look. Make him a bit stronger. Let's see what other gear we can get him.
Okay. Good mountain files from that. Might as well get some more thread as well. I'm sure we're gonna need plenty of it. Is gear or not? And another tier up, nice. So we have got level gear tier 4 for him as well. Then once again, we'll just do this single. Common gear, give him a bit more of a boost. We'll try and tempt those rare gear in the future episodes. So we can use our new elf character, Orin, to help us out as well. Oh. <laughs> Probably a bit of a waste, but no matter. So I've got a new enemy here, I believe. Mordor Olog High Tank. Quite a fierce character, but I'm sure we'll be able to take him on. So also got a healer in the enemy group as well, this Taskmaster. Let's so see if we can take him out first. So we get a nice uh, blind on that tank character. I think that helped us up quite a bit. Let's see if we can take him out. And it looks like we've got some fierce looking Nazgul. Let's see if we can take out the Motivator first. And we've got the Blade of the East. As well as the Black Beast. Star victory there. And of course, with that, we can unlock tier 2 as well. Let's see. I have a feeling it's going to be a tough one, but we can have a look into it, I suppose. Let's give it a go. Why not? Ooh, it's 
slip it out of left. Typical. one down. Using quite a bit of health now. Let's see if we can make it to the end. Thompson, but you never know. Let's try and keep our hopes up there. Last wave. Oh dear. <laughs> Not quite, but at least we reached the end, so once again, we'll come back to that. Okay, let's just auto win for now. And then finally, but not least, <clears throat> let's attempt battle experience. It's gonna be a tough one because we only got one shadow character, but hey, let's give it a go. Looks like we've got a new uh, buff at the start of the enemy turn as well. So threat at the start of every turn, gain 20% damage and critical chance per stack. Let's see if we can take him out first. Okay, got some war on characters next. One. Just keep trading hits until we finish them off, eh? Hey? Ooh, typical. considering. Let's get rid of this task mask before he gets too strong now. Last one. One more hit hopefully. Three star victory for that. Very good. I think we'll just auto win tier one. I'm guessing tier two will probably be a bit too hard on his own. But yeah, that's all the challenges done. So, of course, 
as you probably could tell, on Sundays. Every Sunday we can do all the challenges, as we've just done. But usually it's just one or two per time on a weekday. Okay. Looks like we've got some more green earth awards as well. Grab that. And I think we'll probably do one more PvP arena and then start finishing up. So let's see. See if we can rise to rank one, silver one, hey. Okay, I think this Merry player will probably be the best. Rank 890 with power 4300. So that'll be able to get us over the, to silver level 1. While still being the weakest player we can face. I think that team will do, so let's give it a go. Trying to get rid of Strider first. Ouch, what counters there? Well, at least we got one of their players down already. Good start. Yeah, definitely hanging in there. I think we're getting the lead at least, so slowly but surely, hopefully. That's another one down. Nice. Let's see if we can get rid of the healer. There we go, finally got them down. Okay, definitely need some healing for our own. Hopefully can, she can survive to the end. Ooh, one more hit. There you go, down to the last one. One more should do it. And there we go. 
and we even get a league promotion. So we've moved from silver rank 2 to silver rank 1, and that'll mean we'll get some more bonus points when we get to our arena awards. Okay, so I think just before we start finishing off, how about we try and unlock, get some more shards for Eldred character here. Use those uh, guild points, say. We even get another nice level up. Ooh, so close. Six more shards, we'll be able to put them to rank four. I'm sure we'll be able to do that in the next episode. We can also uh, upgrade them a bit as well. One turn, grant one stack regeneration for one turn to one Rohan squad member. Level 25 self. So how about we upgrade that? Why not? And even though we can't get any more gear, might as well use up our points and get some materials ready for next episode. So let's get plenty of threads for Rowan characters. Get a bit more parchment as well, what's it here? Let's see what else can we get. So we can also upgrade some abilities for Ugluk. So it looks like our dirty work ability will inflict disable as well. Very nice. We can also gain 10% block chance and inflict weak minds when an enemy attacks us. Some nice bonuses there. And then last one I believe. Yep. Okay. Also check out the supplies, considering they've refreshed as well. Get some nice goodies. And we can buy these um, runes, I believe they're called, or glyphs. We haven't quite unlocked them yet, but they are quite useful, so we might as well start collecting some. And we'll get a tutorial for those later on, I believe. Might as well get some shards from Maria as well, why not? And same for Ian Moore. And there we go, get our guild battle bonus as well. So once again, whilst we're off screen, I'll get that finding treasure challenge. We'll be able to get five more strider shards. So that'll be everything for uh, this trip stream. Once again, I'll be uh, editing it and uploading it to YouTube. But yeah, as always, comrades, I hope you enjoyed. If you are a regular viewer, I'm going to try and start doing weekly streams for Lord of the Ring Heroes every Sunday, around 4 to 5 ish. And then if you're a fan of our Elder Scrolls Blades Twitch streams, I'm going to try and find a time on Saturdays to do them. But yeah, that'll be everything for today. So, as always, comrades, thank you for watching, have a good day, and of course, Happy New Year.
Bye for now, guys.